in this video we will learn how you can automatically upload an image in Google slide from Google Forms and send it on WhatsApp. So let's say you want to create a certificate on Google slides using information, details and pictures from Google Forms and then send the certificate on WhatsApp. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pavily Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To upload image in Google Slides from Google Forms and send on WhatsApp, let us first go to Pabbly's website. You can see the landing page of Pabbly. On top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabbly Connect. Okay, it's loading. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. So we will simply write the title that is how to upload image in Google slide from Google Forms and send on WhatsApp. Now let us create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed, an action can be add the order details in a Google sheet. So in our case, a trigger can be when a form is received, a response is received in Google Forms, the action can be make the certificate and send it via WhatsApp. So now let us begin. For a trigger application, first we will select Google Forms. For the trigger event, we will select new response received. Now it will show you a webhook URL. Like this, a webhook URL is basically a link that connects two applications. So we will copy this and now we will follow these steps to paste the link in Google Sheets. So for that, first let us come to the Google form. You can see this is the Google form that I have created. Student slide, the title is student slide form. The name is there, student name is there, email is there, contact number and then the images there that file can be uploaded here so now on the top right next to questions you will see response button just click there and now you will see a google sheet like icon click on that and then create a new spreadsheet all right it has created a new spreadsheet and you can see these fields are also there like we had in our Google form, name, email, phone number, image. Similarly, you can see name, email, email, phone number and image. So now what we will do is on the top, you will see extensions button. Just click there. Come to Pabbly Connect Webhooks. Then initial setup. Now here in the webhook URL, just paste the URL that we copied from here. I'll show you. This is the one. So we have just pasted it here. So in the trigger column, we will write column E. So what will happen when the, when the detail is added in column E, Pabbly will capture the response of the entire row. So now let us just submit. Okay, it says set up, configured successfully. Now just cross this and Click again on extensions, again Pabbly Connect to Webhooks. Instead of initial setup, just click on send on event. So what will happen? Every time a new row is added, Pabbly will capture the response. And remember when we added column E as the trigger column. So what will happen? The moment the image will be added, Pabbly is going to capture the response of this entire row that is timestamp, name, email, phone number and image. Okay, so coming back to our Pabbly, you will see it is waiting for webhook response. Now to check if we have successfully connected Google Forms with Pabbly, let us quickly go and do a test submission. So I'll come to my form here. This is the form. 
I will just click on preview and fill the dummy details. Okay, so like you can see, I filled in the dummy details. That is demo dummy is the name, email address. Okay, let me just quickly correct this. Then the phone number and then the image I have uploaded. So I will just submit the form. And it says the form is submitted. Now coming back to our Google Sheet, you will see the responses come here, the image link and the other details. Now let us go to Pabli and see if it is able to capture the response. Yes, even Pabli has captured the response. You can see the timestamp, then the name of the person who filled in the form, the email address, contact number. Here is the image link as well, you can see. So this means we have successfully connected Google Forms with Pabli. Now on to the action step. So here we will select Google Drive. Okay. The action event would be share, share a file with anyone. Why? Now we have this image. Now we want to make it shareable. So for that we will select share a file with anyone. Let us connect, let us connect, add new connection, connect with Google Drive. I will select my account. Okay, since I was already logged into my account, I will not have to give my credentials again. Just the permission. And it says authorization successful. So now it needs a file ID. Let us just turn the mapping remove it and we will take it from google forms okay so we need a file file id let us scroll down and find if we have a file id in the response no we don't have a file id like you can see it here when we received the response after a submission was made in google form we received this response and there is nowhere we where we can see the file id so what we will do is we will just add a step in between click on action and choose text formatter for the action event we will select split text connect and now what we will do is i'll show you in the first step we got this image link this link we got you can see it here as well when we try to map it Yes, this is the one. So using this, we will get a file ID. All right. So here, the text formatter step, we will just take this. All right. So now what I want is I want the part after equal sign. I want this part only. So therefore, I will use equal sign as the separator. This is the separator. Segment index would be last since I want the last part after equal. Since I want the part after equal, just the last part. So I will keep the segment index as last. Now save and send test request. And you will see it has successfully splitted the link, this image link. And now we have got the file ID. So now coming to Google Drive step again, we will reconnect it. Since we are already connected, so we'll go with existing connection, save. And now again, we will just turn on the mapping, remove it. And from text formatter, we will use this as the file ID. Okay, just save and send test request. All right, now here you can see it has give the response. You can see this link here. Okay, now on the next step, click on plus button. That is the action step. Now write Imgur. Okay, for the action event, just select upload image. It uploads an image from URL. Connect, add new connection. allow since i was already logged in here i will not have to give my credentials authorization successful it says okay so you must be wondering why did we do this step why we why did we add this step like 
we added import in action and then selected upload image that is why because we want the image in jpg or png format we'll have to use that in the later step and therefore we have selected in good here okay in the image url i'm going to first paste this part of the link so i'm i'm pasting this part of the url manually as this is going to remain same for all the files and then after this now for the second part of the url what we will do is we will we are going to map it so we will go to the google drive step click here then you will see response to response to id this one and we are just going to click on this now comes the name so for name let us again go to google forms and map the student's name that is demo dummy now let us just click on save and send test request we are going to leave this empty for now in the response you will see various details like the data type that is the image format png it's an png format and if you'll scroll down you will see it is generated a data link so this is the link that we will be using when we add an image in the google slide so we'll be using this this data link this uh, image link there in the google slide step now let us move on to our next step click on plus button select google sheets for the action event we will select look up spreadsheet rows connect since i was already logged into my google gmail account google sheets so i will go with x select existing connection okay so now you will see it has brought all the spreadsheets that i had created in my account my google sheets here so my sheet name here is student slide form responses like you can see here this is the spreadsheet okay now so for the lookup column i want to use this column c that is email column as the lookup column and so i will write just column c here the lookup value again you can see here in the google sheets would be the email so i'm going to map it from first step that is google form step to map it and then just save and send test request now you will see it has brought all the details of the students email address as the lookup value and pably brought all the details of the student of that that student here the, the student with this email address you can see the student name then you can see the student's contact number and so on wait i'll show you here in my sheet you can see this the name of the student with this email address and the phone number and the other details now since we have the details of the student here now let us work on the presentation for that just click on action step plus button here then select google slides for the action action event would be create presentation from template connect add new connection so i will select my account here since i was already logged into my account i will not have to give my credentials just permission authorization successful it says now it will show you a lot of templates that i had created in my google slides account so i'll show you i want to work on this academy awards so i want the name of the student to come here and the logo of my academy so for that i am going to select my templates name that is academy awards like you can see here the title of new presentation could be any i will just write pavli education awards you can write any as per your requirement or choice now this is this is showing the presentation's location where whether 
final presentation will be saved in google drive here okay so now we want we want name to come here and therefore we will map the name here we'll take it from google forms just click here save and send test request now like i told you apart from name we also want picture here so then we'll click on plus button again select google slides again and this time we are going to upload an image in the presentation so connect select existing connection as we are already connected to google slides in the previous step now we will select template presentation here so that was academy awards we were working on this presentation like you can see this template academy awards after select selecting the template it will ask you for the image replace method center insight center crop you can select as per your requirement i'll go with center insight now we will have to give the image the image that we want to be uploaded uploaded here so i want my logo here so now i will go to i will map it from fourth step imgur so where we when we uploaded image on imgur and it created a it generated a link so we are going to use this link and now let us just save and send test request all right it has been created like this and now before i show you the final certificate let us add another step here we will write google drive we will select google drive for the action event we will select share a file with anyone so to make this certificate that we have made here adding image then the student's name so to make this certificate shareable we are going to select do this step connect add new connection connect with google drive again i'll select my account continue as i'm already logged in okay so now here it will ask you for the file id so what we will do here here is we will just turn on the mapping remove this so now let us map this and we will go to the final seventh step where we uploaded an image in the presentation google slides you will notice it has generated it has created a presentation id we will click here to save like i'll show you in the top see you you will notice this presentation id was created when we uploaded the picture in the slide so we are going to use this presentation id here in the file id section now just save and send test request and you will see we have received the response you can see these it has generated the pdf link as well that we will use uh, to share on whatsapp now let me take you to my google drive and give you a look how my final certificate looks like here it is you can see i've added the logo the name of the student has come here you can see demo dummy and you can see this logo here so now what we will do is we will add the final step because now we have to share this certificate on our whatsapp so we will select whatsapp cloud api action event would be send template message connect the two add new connection now for token phone number id and whatsapp business account id let us go to developers page here it is this is my dashboard on the left hand side you will see whatsapp drop down click there and you will see getting started on the top you will see temporary access token copy it come back to pabli and paste it so like you can see we are given a temporary access token but you can also read it is only valid for just 24 hours as you can see in the help text it is showing how you can generate a permanent token either you can click on the link here or we have a full fledged video on youtube its link is given in the description box below you can refer to that now for the phone number id again we will go to developers page scroll down and you will see phone number id just copy this and paste 
Now it needs WhatsApp business account ID. Again, we will go to developers page. Click here. You will see right next to phone number ID, you will see WhatsApp business account ID. Just copy this and paste it and save. Okay, it's connected. Now we will select our template name. We, I have a lot of templates that I've created here. These are so I want to select appreciation certificate template. I'll show you how it looks like. You can see this. Hi, here. This is the test names and all. Hi, Roger Bini. So here we will map in the name. Then the certificate. You can see the certificate is proudly present to, to, to you for these efforts. Please find the link of the please find the attached pdf conta containing your certificate so now let us this message will be sent to the user on whatsapp to our student on whatsapp so here let us they will need a student's mobile number so either you can map it from the google forms if you like this if you select you will find the student's phone number you can select from here I will just write in after giving the recipient mobile number we will give the document URL here let us click on this and on to the final step Google Drive step you will notice it had created a PDF link you will see we will map it so let me take you to the previous step and you will see where we made this file the certificate shareable here so it generated the PDF link this is the one so we are going to use this we will be sending this on whatsapp okay after mapping in this document you can write just i can write appreciations award you can write whatever you feel like now we will let's see what are the field one and field two for that i'll take you to template hi so here the user's name will come so we are going to map in the name of the student from here google forms then let's see what is body 2 so here the body 2 is okay ours, our name the sender's name would come here so we will just write our company's name that is pabli you can write your company's name or your name now let us just click on save and send us request okay you will see we have received the response now let us go to the user's whatsapp to see if they have received any such message this is the one let us click here and you will see appreciation award the title that we had given for the document i'll show you here appreciation award we gave the document file name and now let us click on this to see how it looks like okay so here is the certificate you can see the certificate is proudly present to demo dummy the student's name and the logo is here I hope this video was useful for you. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.